In 2022, Mark Harrison decided to leave what he had previously called the best job in healthcare as the CEO of the nonprofit health system Intermountain Healthcare to go work for the venture capital firm General Catalyst. Now, he's explaining why. He aims to start a revolutionary healthcare company at General Catalyst by buying a health system that it would own and operate, an unusual move for one of the world's most active healthcare startup investors. The new company, the Healthcare Assurance Transformation Corporation, or HATCO, for short, will own and operate a hospital, offer a proving ground for the technology coming out of General Catalyst's portfolio companies and a vector through which to spread what's working to a network of 20 other health system partners. The goal is to lead by example, Harrison told Forbes. We need to eat our own cooking, he said. The structure is also intended to help bypass two of the main challenges facing digital health startups. First, it usually takes months if not years to get deals signed with hospitals, which is why so many companies start selling to consumers and employers before tackling slow-moving health systems. Second, as more companies move to build healthcare-related artificial intelligence tools, one of the biggest choke points is getting access to high-quality patient data to train models. Any potential health system purchase would also presumably include medical records data. The goal is to find a hospital in the $1 billion to $3 billion range because that's where the majority of Americans get their health care, said Harrison, who is Hatco's CEO. If it was a house, you'd say it has really good bones, but also there's room for improvement, Harrison said of the hospital system he's looking to acquire. The idea, he said, isn't to do a gut renovation and rip out the entire existing leadership team but to find a system that is eager to do transformation. He declined to specify General Catalyst's percentage ownership of the company, other than to say HATCO is operated separately and distinctly from the firm's funds and core venture business. Harrison said ideally it would be a health system that also operates a health insurance plan like an Intermountain or a Kaiser Permanente. It has to be a system that takes care of poor people as well as rich people, he said. We're not interested in finding a system that cherry-picks rich people out in the suburbs. The cherry-picking comment is a not-so-subtle dig at the private equity industry's track record when it comes to hospital acquisition. The classic PE playbook involves identifying hospitals with higher-income patients, cutting costs, boosting profits and selling for a premium a few years later. Harrison insists Hatco is looking at a years-to-decades time frame.